Happy Monday to you and yours. My name is Reverend Malaika, and whilst the world is so entrenched with the coronavirus, I feel inspired to send some words of wisdom, hope, inspiration, and love in abundance to you and the community at large, both here and in the world. Every day I've been walking and praying in Alexander Park and focusing my energy to those who we have lost to the virus, those who have been diagnosed and continue to suffer, and to those who don't know they have the virus. I think of all the professionals who are connected and working tirelessly day and night in honour with such care at this time and to the family and friends who are feeling the backlash of all the above. I'm mindful of those who are isolating, maybe feeling fear and afraid and not sure on what to do next. And for all, I ask for courage, light and strength to see you all through. There will be people out there who may not want to spend time with particular family members and friends, but may not have a choice. Some of this time may sadly result in an increase in domestic violence, mental health, crime, suicide, with many relationships and friendships being tested as human life plays out. I sense a huge financial loss to the nation and possibly other world challenges we will have to endure. I'm so conscious of the loneliness this time may bring for some. On the opposite hand, with many being at home, they may choose to keep warm and close at this time, which may result in a baby boom within a year from now, which is a good thing, as new babies are a true blessing to us all. Whilst the energy may be of despair, worry and fear, I do sense a great community spirit and kindness and more connection in the world, which may not have normally have happened. Many believe the virus will encourage us to treat our world and ourselves and others in a different way in the future. This can be a way of resting, listening and just being, and for us to then rebirth our souls into the world in the future. As I journey in my own life, and like so many others have been faced with challenges, I have trusted and I've continued to practice a belief which has so served me over my many years. So when faced with a challenge, I sometimes may feel numb, hurt, frustration, anger, or even sadness. And so I try to dig deep in within my soul and search for some kind of acceptance from my situation and add some strength to try and trust and believe. I then focus to bring light to my darkness, happiness to my sadness, truth, falsehood, and most of all, creating some inspiration from my pain. And so as I place my hand on my heart, I offer you, yours and the world, an abundance of love and healing, understanding, support when needed, and courage at this time. I encourage you to light candles daily and share your thoughts in a journal. Be kind to yourself and to others. And if you're able to pray, meditate and breathe. Try to eat healthy and exercise as much as possible. 
Whether you believe in a higher being or not, I encourage you to set your intentions and constantly ask the world what you want and the goodness that the world needs right now. I found this beautiful poem which has been shared all around the world in these coronavirus times. And so as I read it out to you, I invite you to close your eyes and listen and feel free to share if you feel inspired. And the people stayed home and read books and listened and rested and exercised and made art and played games and learned new ways of being and were still and listened more deeply. Some medicated, some prayed, some danced, some met their shadows and the people began to think differently and the people healed. And in the absence of people living in ignorance, dangerous, mindless and heartless ways, the earth began to heal. And when the danger passed and the people joined together again, they grieved their losses and made new choices and dreamed new images and created new ways to live and heal the earth fully as they had been healed. By Kitty O'Meara. And as I close, I give thanks and praise Ashe. Namaste.